Hello. Um, so I'm currently recording, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Woozer vest onto your computer. So the first thing you need to do is so I'm going to show you guys how to use the Woozer vest. The first thing you need to do, okay? Let me show you here. See, it's got it's got the uh, Woozer symbol on it. It's a USB, but what you do is you plug and this wire, USB to USB-C, into this, like that. Plug it into your computer. Hold on. Plug it into your computer. Hi. So now what you want to do is you want to minimize everything. The, the first, before I go online, th you want to check here the Windows Sound Properties and scroll down and you'll see Speakers Woozer Vest. Now you can click that and attach headphones, but there will be a little bit of a delay and a lag. And that is not very good because this vest is actually really, really good at... Um, it's it's pretty good at, at responsiveness like maybe it's like a couple milliseconds off like maybe 50 milliseconds at of you know to get you know so uh, it's like half a second delay but um this the headphones if you connect it to the Woozer vest and you use this property setting with windows here and you set it to Woozer your headphones will be off by like a full second, which is like ridiculous. You can't play any video games. So what you have to do is split the audio signal. Now some people use an actual splitter. I have mine plugged into the computer with the USB-C Type-C cable, not the 3.5 millimeter jack. I don't think you can get surround sound out of it, but the purpose of doing this is so that you can get a clean signal into the computer and have at least two outputs one for the speaker, your headphones, like these ones, or one for the, and one for the Woozer. So I'll show you how to do that. So what you do is you go online, go search, Google search, and type in voice meter, like that, M-E-E-T-E-R. Then you want to go to this web page. I'll put it in the description, and you'll find this program. So you're going to scroll down, and you're going to download voice meter here. and you're going to extract voice meter and you're going to run the setup here once you run everything go to the folder where voice meter is which should be it'll be in uh... when you install this program it'll go to your program files 86 uh... folder and you're going to find voice meter 64 right here and you're going to save this and create a desktop shortcut like that. Then once you have the program, what you want to do is open voice meter. And if you can see this is blinking now because I had this set differently. What you what you want to do first, I'm sorry, first you want to go to sound settings on your computer. Once you install voice meter, you have to restart your computer as well. Go to the sound control panel. This will pop up in the playback tab scroll down and find voice meter input right click this and set as default device on both see like when I right click this to set default device set as default device this input here it says voice meter input VB audio VB dash audio voice meter bio default device and then double click voice meter click this this program will pop up what you want to do is you want to click a1 now, every time you use this, I think you have to click this and remove it, and then click it again. So A A1 is now set to Woozer. A2, we're going to set to whatever we want, so my gaming headphones. And now, as you can see, the let's test it now. Let's see. 
I like to test with my favorite song. So I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. Pick this song. Say that again. So then I can feel the headphones. All right, I can feel the bass coming through my vest now, and some mids. It's now vibrating like it should be, and I have no latency connection to the head sh to the headphones, which is what we wanted the whole time. We wanted um, no lag on the sound that comes out. But you, the the vest is pretty good. The haptic systems, is, it's very close to the to the thing. Like I like playing Bioshock Remastered. I was just playing now. Counter Strike works great with it. But you have to do it this way. You have to use voice meter because if you don't split the audio signal, you'll have a lag in the audio sound when you. Because Woozer vest, I guess, doesn't have the right kind of efficiency for the drivers, so it'll have like a lag to it. You don't want that. So that's that's all. That's how you do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this video up and put it on uh, my YouTube channel for you guys. The link to voice meter will be in the description. I recommend using the 64-bit version of voice meter. There, the, like I showed you before, in in this program is 64, because I have a 64-bit computer. If you have 32-bit, which most people don't now, because it's 2025, year 2025, you know, you you want to use voice meter 60, uh, 64. There's some input options. There's extra, there's extra things. You can even save some of the settings, I think. But every time, once again, every time I use this program, you have to, every time I turn on my computer and I plug in my Woozer vest, I have to reset A1 and A2 to make it work. That's the only thing that you have to do differently every time you use the program. But at least it's plugged in and it works great. It, it sounds really good. Like in, in Biomass, Bioshock Remastered, Bioshock 2 Remastered, you can feel the bumps of every single footstep that you take. It'll go like, dump, 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 doing your vest. It's really cool. So thank you for everything, and I hope you're, you're welcome. I hope I helped and I can fix this for you. Everything's working great. Thank you. Bye.